Perfect. Hey, Rockers, Jack Russell here from Jack Russell's Great White, and you are watching World Viral TV. Do not change the station, or I'll... Hey, it's Amanda with a pot canna, and you're watching Pot Talk with Chad Drew on WorldViral.tv. What? <laughs> What is up, dude? I love it, dude. I love it, dude. It's not Run DMC, but it's CT rapping, dude. We're on Viral TV Live. My name is Chad. Fun to the stars. We've got CT in the booth. My producer can't do this without him. Love him. Got Damien sitting here. He's not going to say shit, but over here, I got my boy Justin from Cannabis what Queen. Up? What up, what up? Cannabis Queen Jerky. Talk right into the mic, my friend. How you doing, everybody? There you go. Good, there you go. Good afternoon, world. Uh, 428. That's right, David. That's right. I feel bad that, the, that you got to talk into the mic because it covers up the lovely beard, man. It's no worries. I have a little bit of extra growth down below, too. What do you uh, do to maintain such an epic beard? Oil. 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 It's, oil. it's uh, a little bit of hash oil, actually. I also use hash a lot, oil. A lot of essential oils. That's key. It's a lot of moisture. Did you say essential or essential? Essential. Okay. <laughs> He's like sitting there rubbing sensual oil on his beard like, you know what? Fluff up, girl. Yeah, try that shit. Yeah. And, and a little bit of cutting, a little bit of maintenance actually helps it grow out. I'm about a year and seven months now. So, uh, yeah. That's Did you give some extra love to be on, this, on the screen today with it? A little it? bit. Just a tiny bit. So, Cannabis Queen, talk to me about Cannabis Queen because this is awesome. Okay. So, what's the biggest complaint kind of in the edible market right now? That it doesn't kick in. Okay. Uh, not strong enough, but what about taste? What about variety? Yep. That everything has to be sugar. Everything Every, has to be sugar. No, it doesn't. I mean, when you go on your daily diet, are you eating sugar all day? No. Uh, what about an active edible for the active marketplace of Colorado? That's what bison jerky is all about. Um, there's nothing like it on the market. There's nothing. And let me tell you why else. Protein. Protein. It's a source of protein in itself, right? Yeah. As a guy that you can tell from the run T THC on my shirt, I do plenty of working out. Exactly. And and in order to work out, I know the protein is is a must. Uh, so good. And they so I know that by, so bison jerky is a great way to not only get your medicine in, but also have the protein that a lot of folks think is the best way to get it into your system. Talk a little bit about that. So it's a little faster acting. You know, most of our edibles, they work with fat soluble in your stomach. So they're gonna activate based on food you've eaten and it's gonna kind of determine the, the nature of the edible, the predictability of the edible. This being a source of protein actually absorbs in your bloodstream a little bit quicker. It's a little more efficient in that process. So it's actually an add on to what you're already eating. And because we do sativa hash oil, it's actually a source of energy too. Moving around. Yeah, Which right. means I can toss this fucking Red Bull I got over here. I don't need this Red Bull. So I got this. Uh, so it, it's got the, the little packs in it to keep it fresh. I'm not going to lie. This piece of jerky that I just put in my mouth is about three months old, roughly. I think that's what you get. If you go to 7-Eleven, don't you think that Oberto beef jerky is like a, like three or four months old, probably? It's It can't be like young. I don't know what the, uh, the shelf life on that in the production timeline is do you here's another thing about our, our jerky when you order it like let's say chad wants to put an order in for a store we're going to make it that week and in a week and a half you're going to have it it's so fresh i mean i can tell him with all honesty that it takes time a lot of hands to make that jerky a lot of effort it's a really high-end edible considering what's so what's the, the what's the milligram breakdown on, on like a serving or or how does it come still with a 10 um if you do your individual 10s you're gonna get a little bit more meat but you're still at a 10. if you go for our new hundreds well, you're gonna have oh yeah, yeah a little bit more uh for your buck that's awesome dude they when they originally when uh, me and justin first started talking they weren't offered out in the 100 milligram recreational um I told him, dude, you got to, and he hit me up like immediately as soon as they did. This is some good jerky, by the way. I got a teriyaki. They got hot and spicy as well. Yeah. I'm a teriyaki fan. Um, and as soon as they, as soon as they got to be hundred mix, he hit me up, and I was like, there is no doubt that I want to have this 
on the shelves of Colorado Harvest Company. Scar- Sorry, I'm totally drooling because this is awesome, dude. Um, it's savory. It's savory and it's protein days. That's really the big two differentiators in the market. Um, and I've given it to my most bison jerky aficionados in the market, the biggest snobs. And I take them to the taste test. I'm like, please eat this over the weekend. Please don't medicate first thing in the morning. And please try it for all it's worth because it really is a different experience for an edible at 10 milligrams even in Colorado. Something unique. Very true. I think a lot of people come in and ask me why an edible doesn't work um, and why I, they've tried an edible before and it blew, them, blew their hair way back. Obviously, in the days that we weren't really trying to get, um, you know, the, the milligrams exact um, you know, when, when their friends were making brownies and stuff like that. I think that I've always tried to explain to folks that you need to have some protein, you need to have some fat, you don't need to have a full stomach, but you definitely don't need to have an empty stomach. That's correct. Yeah, you need to have some kind of a base at least because this is working off with the existing proteins in your body, but it's just, it's a cleaner high. And it's a more effective high. I think for when I go outdoors and I utilize edibles, this is exactly what I want. Because it's going to go in my back pocket for six months when I go on a hike, wherever. And that's another thing. No refrigeration. doesn't have to go in the fridge for any time. I love the idea because Colorado, not only being green, is the state that everybody likes to get out and enjoy the green in many ways with green. And I know Chris is a fan of hiking. Yeah. I'm totally not. My feet usually hurt. You can tell by the belly that it, me and hiking don't agree. But when I do, I usually have beef jerky with me, dude. Exactly. It's already a source of protein in itself. I mean, it goes right in your pocket. We even talk about after the gym. I mean, look at a way to differentiate that pain a little bit and then still have a source of protein. That's where it's at. So the next question and the other thing that a lot that I, re- I think is really, really key for everybody to hit on and understand is this is actually, even though I keep being a jackass and calling it beef jerky because I'm a jackass usually, um, it's actually bison jerky because it, is, it doesn't have to do with the government. Exactly. Yeah. There's actually, uh, they regulate, even though they won't regulate the other parts of the process, they will say that, oh, we can't use beef. Right. We can't use things that are you know actually regulated by the USDA. So game, wild game, bison, and this is bison that comes off the prairie. I mean, just like it's pictured, no hormones, no antibiotics. This is straight meat that is the, the nicest way possible before it's brought in, processed, and cured, and, and the whole steps. So it really is, uh, yeah, it's, it's a kind of a loophole, but we got the check off from the FDA and USDA, even though they won't come in and certify our organization organic, which it almost is, but we can't say that. Can't ever say the government word organic or beef. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> so if you don't understand this, basically there's a bunch of guys in Aspen. By the way, how's Breckenridge? Is Breckenridge doing okay? It's, it's still there. Okay, good. So there's a bunch of folks in Aspen. What they do, they wake up in the morning, they go kill a bison. They 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 skin it and get all of their meat and dry it a little bit. Throw a little bit of THC oil on it, maybe a little teriyaki sauce. They hand do it for you. So as soon as you order it, there's a guy going out to the field killing the bison for you. Like... <laughs> You're scaring some of the potential patrons away. Okay. Right? <laughs> Actually, the pro- the bison is already dead. No. <laughs> its name was Bambi. Yeah. <laughs> no, but honestly, like seriously, there is so many there are so many edibles out there, and there has been an influx of sugar and sugar free um, within the market ever since I started. Like everybody's like, you know what we need? Cookies. You know what we need? Brownies. You know what we need? Right. Rice Krispie treats. You know, chocolate, you know? That would be great. Everybody's doing this years and years and years and years and years. Now all of a sudden we have some other choices. It's a unique it's a unique thing. It's yeah. it's it's really cool. How's how's it how's business going now that you guys are hunter mix? It is killing. I'm telling you, uh, our businesses have ramped up so much since the hunters have come out and it, we're just now we're now we're playing catch up because there are so many new places, new opportunities. And when I go out and do these events, people come in and they're like, What? Jerky? Jerky. Right. And I just explain everything. And unless you're a vegan, that's the only thing. If you're a vegan, understandable. There's going to be new options in the future. That's disqualifier. Understandable to you, vegan. But I've also had, you know, vegan contacts that have told me, hey, look, we, we know, we've tried it, though. We've tried it through our, you know, the people that run our dispensary, and they are enthralled with it. So... It's definitely oh, cool. A lot. Is there any plans to do like a bean one for the vegans? I don't see why. I'll make a tofu or a tempo, maybe. <laughs> I'm definitely going to voice those opinions. That'd be great. We could corner both ends. You know, like there you go. For the vegan market. I love it. They have they have the little marks on them um, that are printed in. You got them in teriyaki. You got them in hot and spicy. What else does Cannabis Queen offer up? 
right now it's just size variants. So the two different sizes, three different sizes actually in two different flavors. So you have your different package designs. Inside we also have like a little leaflet that's all about safety because it's about being responsible in Colorado as well when you utilize your edibles. So just a little guide more or less for where you're at on your, your dosage. Local. It's the summertime in Colorado. Everybody's going out and, and bragging. I watch it all the time. All my friends on Facebook are bragging about getting to the top of a 14er. Like, you guys are high already because you're at 14,000 feet. Get some beef jerky. Come over uh, to any Colorado Harvest Company location. Edible Wednesday, you can get yourself a discount. Mention World Viral TV, you get yourself a discount. We might even think about stacking those discounts for you. Get a little wake and bake. Go climb yourself a 14er with some Cannabis Queen jerky. Bam. Absolutely. Justin, I appreciate you, man. Thank you, Jeff. Dude, appreciate you being here. Check out Cannabis Queen online. How do you get them? Oh, uh, anywhere. You can get them right now at Colorado Harvest Company. Man, I'm going to be over there in uh, 15 minutes. Come over and see me tonight. There you go. Yay. Appreciate you guys being here. We're going to be back with a couple of bands, right? Yeah. Cool. That's what's up. Hell yeah. All right. Word. Yeah, you just did. Okay. All of the United States is looking to Denver, Colorado to see what is cool. You know, it used to be maybe California back in the day or maybe New York early along, but now everybody's really looking to Denver, Colorado to figure out what is cool. And when you get accepted by a Colorado uh, as cool, well, then it just spills over to the rest of the world. <laughs> You have to see the vision for this area on South Broadway. This area, so five years from now, is going to look very different than it looks mm -hmm. right now. Right. I'm not supposed to only give you my tools of the trade. Like tools of the trade? Yeah. Separate, separate segments? Separate, separate segments when you do it. Always ID yourself. Hey, this is Bubba Sparks, baby, and you're watching World Viral TV. You better know about it. World Viral. This is Ari Lehman, the first Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th. And you're watching World Viral TV from Colorado Harvest. Remember, Jason never dies. Okay, so you can get recreational marijuana for fun, but some people need the medical benefits of cannabis. Know someone that needs a medical card? 